So I'm going to make this very brief. Uh, so patient number one, uh, about 13 year old. This is the peripheral blood of this patient. On peripheral blood, we look at the red cells, white cells, and the platelets. I think we all know the numbers. The white cells are supposed to be 4 to 100, 4 to 11,000, the red cells and the platelets. When you look at this film, let me go to the big one. Just at the snapshot, it looks busy. You shouldn't see this many white cells on a film. In this, in this uh, snapshot, you should be able to see only one or none at all. But here, we are able to see more than, uh, I think, seven cells. So this shows that we have an increased number of white blood cells. And the other thing that makes it CML is, since it's chronic, you're going to have all the cell lines appearing in the same film. You're going to see the baby cells and the old cells. So the big cells are the baby cells. In, in, morphology, in hematology, big is young, and then small is, is old. So these, and these, and these, these are the big cells, and they are young cells, and they shouldn't be seen in peripheral blood. And these are what we call the neutrophils. This is a burnt cell, and these are what they call the neutrophils, because they have burnt, they have segments, they're hypersegmented, and they have gra granules in the cytoplasm. Okay, this is another picture. This is bigger, showing you that we have so many young, ce young cells around. Okay, and some of these are myeloblasts. Okay, big. And what makes them neutrophils? I said we have um, the cytoplasmic to nuclear ratio is big, and we have granul granules in them. Um, I went on to, we did a marrow. Marrow biopsy and the aspirin. This is at a low magnification. There are some features of CML that you see at low magnification. One of them is megakaryocytes. Megakaryocytes are baby platelets. Surprisingly, yeah, the platelets are really small, but the megakaryocyte is really big. So this is a megakaryocyte. This one. <coughs> so this is a megakaryocyte. This is also a megakaryocyte. This is also a megakaryocyte. The size of a megakaryocyte is supposed to be twice this one, but this one is small. So CML is associated with micro megakaryocytes. They're usually small. They're smaller than the normal one. And when you look at this film, this is the tail end of this film, it is very, very busy. This is what we call a hypercellular marrow. Cellularity is, is depending on age. So if you are, uh, we, if you're 50 years, your cellularity should be 50%. It's 100 minus your age. If you're 20 years of age, your cellularity should be 80%. This is a 13 year old. Cellularity should be around 80%, but this is really, really big. This is hypercellular for this age. Um, when we come here, I want to show you all the cell lines. In the marrow, we see all the cell lines, the baby ones and the old ones, but their number should be less. This is a busy marrow. So these are neutrophils, neutrophils, these are baby cells, these are what we call myeloid precursor cells, which are the baby cells. And then um, we say that it is chronic phase because the myeloblasts are less than 50%. When I count the myeloblast, one, two, three, four, and then I divide by the total number of cells, nucleated cells, if they are less than 5%, then this is chronic phase. If they are between, between 10 to 20 percent, it's accelerated phase. If they are more than 20 percent, that's a blast phase, and that is an emergency. Okay? Um, this is the same thing here. Yes. Thank you.